Welcome back to Plain Truth. I told you before about Eli Lilly and how they were using uh, growth hormone in uh, cows and how it was probably, uh, though not 100% for sure, uh, causing uh, cancer in human beings. Well, there was enough concern about it to drop it from Europe. They, they won't have it. No, no growth hormones in Europe. They, they were smart enough. Again, Europe is smart enough to drop these different things. We still have it in America, apparently. Well, Eli Lilly was also, I have to come up with some other documentation. Um, are they making profits and having, at the same time, pushing things that are causing cancer? Well, December 17, 2006, New York Times article revealed that according to hundreds of internal documents and emails, Eli Lilly has engaged in a decade-long decade effort to downplay, to play down the health risks of ZYPREXA. Lilly executives kept information from doctors that this information would cause obesity and tends, tendency to raise blood sugar, both known risk factors for diabetes. Lilly was concerned that it would hurt their sales, according to Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Smith, the author of the GMO um, trilogy. You had to check into this. This is pretty interesting. And uh, their own survey showed that 70% 70 70 of the psychiatrists had at least one patient quote, develop high blood sugar or diabetes while taking this medicine, Z-Y-P-R-E-X-A. 30% of the patients for a year had gained at least 22 pounds and some over 100 pounds. But Lily told their sales team, don't introduce the issue. Well, guess what? They got sued. The federal government, Justice Department, sued them for $1.42 billion settlement, and another record-setting uh, state consumer protection claim of $62 million for illegally marketing the drug to children and the elderly. So we have Eli Lilly going around pushing these different drugs that are causing cancer, apparently, or causing diabetes and other problems. So we wonder what's going on in America. Well, we have to watch our food and watch what we're being fed by the doctors, I suppose. Uh, there was another and this one has to be spelled out. D-I-E-T-H-Y-L-S-T-I-L-B-E-S-T-R-O-L abbreviated for D-E-S, a synthetic estrogen. Starting in 1938, it said that this was uh, to prevent miscarriages and other problems. But the 53 showed it really didn't do that. Uh, and finally, DES might cause cancer, and Lilly should have uh, had the proper testing before to mark before marketing. So we have uh, apparently another five to ten million pregnant women in the United States who have received DES, and we wonder why all this cancer is going around. We, we've got a lot of problems. We got a, a government that should be doing a lot better job and checking our health and keeping us healthy than. Uh, allowing all these drug companies to make a lot of money. Thank you very much.